will show you how to generate random walk animation in Excel using a visual basic programming so here is the example I have a graph and I have 1000 points here so if I click start then this random this dot will take 1000 steps and move randomly in both X and Y direction and that will generate a random walk Uh, I can do this animation again instead of 1000 I will add 500 now and say start now you can see that the point is moving again and these movements are totally random now how will we generate this kind of animation in Excel for this let me start from scratch so let me take a, a cell and say X and Y and uh, I'll define the position of the dot to be 0 and 0 in the beginning now to move the dot I need delta x and delta y so which is a small step the x, the point will take both in x direction and y direction because the point is moving in a random direction we need a random number here to generate a random number in excel we have to say R A N D and parenthesis. This will give me a random number between 0 and 1. So now you can see I have 0.31183. If I double click on it and say again, now I see 0 0.72327. Right? However, I want the point to move both in x and y direction uh, and also in both negative and positive direction. So for that, uh, I need a number between minus 1 and 1. So to do that, I'll do a small modification. I'll say 1 minus 2 into random number. So in that case, I'll get a random number between minus 1 and 1. So you can see now I also have a number in uh, negative. So I'll copy the same formula for dy. Now you can see my dx and dy are different numbers. And these numbers are between minus 1 and 1. So now all I need to do is add these numbers uh, into the original position of the point and uh, make it an animation. So how will I do that? For that, uh, what I'll do first is I'll plot the position of the point. To plot the position of the point, I'll go uh, and say insert and uh, I'll make a chart. Uh, this is the chart. And uh, now this is John. Let me delete the grid lines and say select data, and say edit. So x here is x, and uh, y here is y. Right. So now I can see that the point is at zero. Now because I want the animation to go both in my negative and positive direction, what I'll do is I fix the axis from uh, minus uh, minus 100 to plus 100 and I'll do the same for the other axis I'll say minus 100 to plus 100 right so now here it is now this is the point in the center so all I need to do now is to move this uh, point by adding the random number for that i'll go to the visual basics so now you can see that i see a developer tab in my excel but sometimes it doesn't show up in all the excel for excel programs so in that case what you need to do is go to the file and say options when you go to the option there is a uh, another tab which called customize ribbon so if you click on that one you can select main tabs and then click on the developer and then add it on this side so we I already have one developer site so I'll uh, uh, remove it right and say okay so now you can see I have a developers uh, tab here uh, another thing you need to do is you can always go to view and then there is something called macro so you can always click on record macro 
uh, which uh, will help you with the programming if you doesn't know how to do some kind of programming you can always click record macro and make the changes in the excel and that will all uh, automatically convert to a code when you go and look at that macro so for example now uh, let me see if i say record macro it says macro to and I say okay and then i click and go here and say mm, one and go here and say two right and then i go and say stop macro now i can say view macro and uh, this was macro 2 and i say click edit so this is how my macro 2 will look like so this is let me delete these lines so this is macro 2 so it says that i selected uh, range b5 and i entered one in it and i then selected range c5 and i entered two into it so this is just example so let me delete this and made my own macro so i'm deleting it and now here what i'll do is i'll say uh, cells so this is a command to select a cell and now it says when i put a bracket it automatically asks me uh, row index row index means that in which row uh, which what is a row of the cell i am referring to so i am referring to uh, the b3 and because 3 is the row number so i will say 3 here and b is 2 so i'll say 2 here so this is the cell i'm referring to i'm saying so b32 is equal to cells 3 comma 2 plus cells now i want to add delta x into it so delta x is 3 and 4 so 3 comma 4 so why do i have 4 here 4 is a b c d so d is a fourth column so i'll say cell uh, 3 2 which is uh, x is equal to x plus dx so that's what i've done now same thing i'll do for y so i'll copy the same thing again here and now i'll shift this uh, to one extra column so i'll say 3 here I'll say 3 here okay. say 3 here so now what I have done is I have said that x is equal to x plus delta x and y is equal to y plus delta y right and now I will add a loop into it so I'll say uh, 4 I is equal to uh, 1 to 1000 now if i press enter you can see that uh, the 4 automatically got capitalized and uh, 2 also automatically get capitalized that means the excel uh, accept this command and this command was entered correctly or this code was entered correctly and now i'll say next i now this is done so our programming is done so what we have done actually is we have said that keep adding delta x into the x uh, for 1000 times so now if i save this right and then i go here and let me uh, let me move this so that i can see the graph i can see the graph here and i say start button there is a run button on the top if i say run no the point is not moving so something is wrong here let me go and check it out so let me see again so if i say uh, 3 2 so 3 is column 2 is b yes and uh, is equal to 3 2 3 is column yeah and 3 4 3 4 is yeah, this is correct 3 3 3 3 plus oh i did a mistake here this should not be 3 this should both this should be mm, uh, 1 2 3 4 5 so this should be 5 here so now if i save it again and i 
click because I, I forgot to add I forgot to change this reference this should be dy so, so so now if I if I go again let me make this zero and uh, go back to the same command so now if I click on start I think something is wrong again uh, yeah. so if I click start now So now the point has moved but now you can see that each time I click start the point moves it doesn't show me the animation so what I need to do is I need to add another you know, command called do events so now if I add do events now I'll see the animation so what the do event means is that for each uh, step uh, Excel has to recognize it as a step and update the graph so now the graph is getting updated each time so if my processor is very fast the animation will look faster but if the processor is slower it takes time for excel to upload update the graph so, so there is a small lag between each update and therefore our we can visually see the points to be moving so now you can see that the point is moving like this so now we have the animation so now the point went out of the graph it come back into the graph so now if I go back and make it zero again and uh, this also I make it zero and then I go back here and I click on start now you can see the point is moving in and, and here is the animation so now uh, what I can do is uh, now because uh, in the original animation I showed you I also showed you there is a track on which the point is moving so for that what I'll do is I'll copy the same graphs here frame numbers here and I'll paste it here and here I'll say that uh, uh, instead of 3 I'll say uh, I plus 3 and here also I'll say I plus 3 right so now what you'll see is that if I if I click on start then all the numbers below are filled up so what it's doing is uh, for each i it moves the row below and it fills up the number so now we are tracking where the particle is going so now if i plot this all so now i add another graph say select data and say add and say x axis and i select this line so i let me go until 5000 and then I select this line let's let me go to 5000 so now you will see that I have the tracks but because this is a marker I'll say format data point and I'll say it to be none marker and solid line and for my data axis marker non marker and line to be solid line yep and now you can see that uh, if uh, I delete everything and I go back here and I click on start then I can see that I can generate a point with the tracks this time per point didn't go uh, everywhere so now so we we are ready so now what we need to do is we go to the developer tab and say insert and we select a button and we can place the button here and this button uh, so it says click and I select macro tool so whenever I click this button uh, it will start the macro tool so I'll say okay and I can say any name here so I can say let's start and then I'm here so now you can see that if I make it all white just look good so now if I click start I forgot to 